the top-seeded Wisconsin women's hockey team opened the NCAA tournament with a big 3-1 win over Mercyhurst. The Badgers were led by Carolyn Prevo and Brianna Decker, who both had a goal and an assist. Prevo got things going in the first with a goal midway through the period, and at the end of two periods, it was tied at 1-1. The Badgers opened it up in the third with a shorthanded goal by Hillary Knight. The Badgers capped it off with Brianna Decker's empty netter, and Alex Rigsby had 28 saves in the win. We caught up with Alex and Carolyn after the victory. You guys dominated the first period, and how important was that fast start? I mean, it's really important, you know. We got the, we got, we got the crowd behind us. Um, we had a lot of energy going on and uh, created a lot of turnovers right away. And I think that we just built off that uh, momentum, and then we got a goal, so it was good. Talk about that goal. That was your first goal, the first goal of the game. Walk us through that. I mean, we just kept going on, um, putting pressure on their defense, and uh, they tried to clear the puck out, and then Decker made a great play at the blue line, keeping it in. Um, and then she kind of drew a couple of players towards her and then found me at the back of, or I guess, on the side of the net to put it in. <laughs> Mercyhurst was a very physical team. They played a physical game. Did that affect you in any way? No, I mean, we play in a league that's pretty physical, I think. Um, so uh, I think in that aspect, I think that we're, we're pretty prepared for basically anything. <laughs> you broke a 1-1 tie with a shorthanded goal in the third period. Uh, that sort of opened things up and it sealed the win. How important was that, especially coming shorthanded? Huge goal. I mean, you know, you could, you could feel everyone's pressure off their shoulder, pressure off the shoulders of everyone just, you know. A little bit off, people kind of relaxed a little bit, and I think from there on, um, we kind of you know took care of details and kept chipping the puck in deep. And um, but I mean that was a that was a huge goal by Hillary, and um, you know kind of got us to you know calm down a little bit. Alex, you were spectacular, 28 saves. How good was the defense tonight? I mean our de defenseman did an awesome job tonight. You know, in the first period, Mercyhurst did not get many opportunities at all, so they did a great job back checking and picking up sticks in front of the net and made my job so much easier and. I mean, um, yeah, I think they did a great job tonight. You talked about Mercy, her struggles in the first period, their big stretch where they did not have a single shot on goal, and then they sort of picked it up later in the game. Is that hard for you as a goalie to, to uh, shuffle the, the two extremes? Um, I mean, yeah, you know, I, didn't, I don't think I got a shot for like the first 15 minutes or so, but, you know, once they get that first shot off, you know, everything's much different from there. And, um, you know, I just have to remain focused the entire time and, you know, just be prepared for whatever comes at me. Mercyhurst was on a power play in the third period. The game was tied 1-1, and then uh, Carolyn Prevo stole the puck and sent it off to Hillary Knight in a shorthanded goal. How much of a, a boost is that, you guys? It was huge. You know, we, we had so much energy from there on out. You know, I thought we had a lot of energy throughout the entire game, but, you know, it just gave us that extra little boost and, um, you know, confidence in what we had and what we had to bring. So, I mean, it was definitely a big goal for us, and it just made it a much more exciting game for us. Finally, it was a big crowd, lots of enthusiasm, the playoff atmosphere. How much did that help you guys? Um, I mean, it was huge. You know, we have such great fans here at Wisconsin. You know, we're really fortunate with that. Um, it was awesome, you know, to have the band here, to have the fans doing cheers and stuff. So I think that gave us a lot of our energy that we had tonight. And, um, you know, just want to thank the fans for that. The Badgers will be in Duluth, Minnesota next weekend for their sixth Frozen Four appearance, going after their fifth national title. The semifinal game will be Friday with the championship game on Sunday. We'll have updates from Duluth all weekend long. Thanks for watching. I'm Charlie Healy.